What's going on guys, Ranger here. Welcome back to another Witcher 3 contract. And today we will be hunting Jenny of the Woods. To start this contract, you'll need to speak to the leader of the village of Midcops. He goes by the name of Alderman. Alderman will tell you more about their recent troubles as well as tell you about a witness who saw the Wraith in person. Head on over and find Agnita who will tell you a little bit more about her experience and lead you towards a part of the village where you'll be able to use your Witcher senses to find some clues. Search the area to find some footprints as well as some other clues that you can find on your own. Follow the footprints all the way until you find a pool of blood. Searching this area and examining this clue will unveil a assassin's knife covered in dried blood. Follow the trail of blood and examine the next clue to find a letter. Go ahead and read the letter to uncover a violent love triangle between three young people in the village. At this point, Geralt will want to return to Alderman to pick his brain and to find out some further clues, revealing that Zula is indeed the Night Wraith in the village. Alderman will also be able to direct Geralt to a clearing outside of the village where the couple used to run away to. At this point, it's worth jumping into your bestiary and exploring the vulnerabilities of a Wraith or Jenny of the Woods. So we're not going to worry too much about Spectre Oil or the bombs. What we're going to want to use for this strategy is Yurden. That's going to play a crucial role in this battle against Jenny. Before we jump into the battle, let's go ahead and do a quick save. And make sure, guys, this is crucial. You have to interact with the fire to generate this battle. If you do not, the letter which Jenny's spirit is attached to will not be burnt and therefore Jenny will not be able to be killed. Meditate until at least 9pm to get the cutscene that you're seeing right now. Throw down a Yurden sign straight away and it's really important here guys that you try your best to keep Jenny inside this trap. This will allow you to inflict serious amounts of damage. As you're damaging Jenny, she will eventually disappear and three wraiths will appear in her stat in her place. You will need to quickly kill these because whilst these enemies are up, Jenny regenerates her health. Once the wraiths are down, you'll be able to continue attacking Jenny. Again, throw down a Yurden sign, stay within the circle and only attack Jenny when she's in the circle. If you try to attack Jenny outside of the circle, you're going to find that you inflict next to no damage. You can see here that I'm using Thunderbolt and Swallow Potions. I found both of these to be quite effective throughout this battle, although I did, although rather I was surprised at how many of these I had to use. If you do get hit by Jenny, she's going to hit you for a good decent chunk of health. And I was surprised at how fast my toxicity went up based on the amount of potions I had to take. You can see here that I actually ended up jumping out of the circle to try and attack Jenny and she gets me back for about a quarter of my health. So don't do that guys, but continue this strategy, put the last bit of damage on Jenny, you will be able to down her, well done. Loot her body for some nice gear and ultimately the trophy. Final step guys, return to Alderman for your reward and contract done. I hope that was helpful for you guys. If it was, please remember to smash that thumbs up and subscribe button below. It helps me way more than you realize. So I'd really, really appreciate that. All the links to my socials will be down below. And if you guys want to join me on some monster hunting or some Witcher 3 action live, please come and hang out with me on Twitch. The link for that will be down below as well. I'd love to answer any questions that you guys have. So please leave them in the comments section below. That's it for me guys. Happy gaming, Ranger out.